This part contains strong language, sexual scenes and references from the beginning and throughout. Jealous that Ant is going to Nepal. I must like more than what I realised. Amelia is looking fit tonight, and I know I did say that I wasn't going to go there, but sometimes when you're in the desert and you've got a glass of water in front of you, man's got a drink. <laughs> I think Amelia fancies James. Bless. She needs some help. Knee bother. A neck on is a neck on. <laughs> oh my god, I cannot believe James and Amelia are necking on. <laughs> that kiss was incredible. <laughs> <laughs> It was actually really, really bloody good. I've already done a couple of laps to the dance floor and I can't find anyone worth necking on with, so there's only one thing for it. If that's how this house rolls, I'm game as a badger. I wouldn't say that I'm a jealous friend, but put in the situation, I'm feeling emotions that I've never felt before. Drunk girls are fun, but mortal girls are a fucking nightmare. I'm off to the dance floor for a mingle me. <laughs> Chloe has really let herself down. I know that Nathan has generally got my best interests at heart, but he just doesn't need to be that harsh. So many fit birds in this place. This club is amazing. I'm fucking buzzing with myself. Little neck on. Mission accomplished. I can see that Ant is pulling the girl, and I don't know why, but it is pissing us off. I know Chloe and I know she's about to swill Ant and he's done nothing wrong. Fuck me, it's all kicking off. And you know if Nathan and Chloe are in each other's throats, the family's in a bad place. Eh? Is that all because of me? Chloe obviously likes what she sees. these two in case they do something or say something they're going to regret in the morning. Hey, you all let me down tonight. We were having the best time, but these two fuckwits had to ruin it. Absolutely.